so hello friends i am again here with you <coughs> for a short video related to some queries of uh, uh, the sister lovers actually <coughs> so many questions uh, we are posted by a different uh, uh, sister learners are the learners of material modeling and, uh, they have those queries are very fundamental queries and uh, how to start a research so when msc mtech level students uh, uh, want to uh, start their work for their project or um, for the synopsis work or um, to stabilize one uh, field of research and uh, how to start uh, that material modeling this type of questions were asked uh, by many many students and uh, i try to reply by mail as well as in uh, personal comments but uh, i think i should uh, uh, make a simple uh, video uh, how to start uh, material modeling studies or any research work related to this uh, material modeling. So first of all, I would like to thank uh, the viewers, uh, that sister lovers, uh, for their love to this channel. And uh, they are enjoying learning sister and material modeling, I think so. And I have uploaded uh, several videos related to that uh, faculty development programs organized by me in my lab. And uh, I think uh, that will be very helpful to uh, all uh, uh, learners. So, <laughs> my suggestion, first of all, my suggestion is uh, just uh, think positive, and uh, <clears throat> and if you want to start to work in material modeling, then first of all, you have to uh, study some uh, topics of that, uh, and then that solution physics and. Uh, are the material science, science books and uh, since this material modeling uh, we are using here is a, a density functional based theory so fundamentals of density functional theory you should also know some mathematical terms as well as that uh, the fundamentals of quantum physics Schrodinger equation etc and uh, one main thing is uh, just uh, you have to choose one mentor one guide for your research work and uh, if you are starting your work on uh, his her field then this will be good because uh, uh, you have to uh, take help uh, time to time from your mentor your um, guide and uh, uh, then next will be uh, to decide one topic so that topic may be recent when and uh, broadly uh, related to present technology present science and uh, if it is uh, related with uh, the field of your guide uh, your supervisor uh, your mentor then this will be very good and then you start studying. So if uh, you should know if and uh, but uh, all those uh, terms and uh, properties which you want to study. So study is uh, very important. And in various universities, uh, six month coursework uh, uh, were uh, performed uh, to learn uh, such things how to uh, study, how to analyze data, how to study, uh, how to make that literature review, etc., and how to write uh, that research articles. And uh, there is a, a separate course in different universities. So you should start learning uh, physics, uh, solid state physics and uh, that material science, obviously, and uh, that uh, density functional based uh, concepts, especially that quantum physics related to Schrodinger equation and its solution, etc. Some mathematical terms of DFT also. Then, you have to decide one topic topic of research and that topic of research are that related topics and then start googling use google make google as a friend and uh, some terms you uh, get from uh, your guide and uh, uh, by google then just uh, uh, just uh, elaborate or um, explore that uh, particular materials and study more and more then fix your work for some materials because the material selection is very important. And uh, if you have uh, decided uh, uh, the material, then next work will uh, start. And uh, that is the know the details of that materials. Okay, so <clears throat> then if you have decided material, 
then start studying about those materials and analysis uh, of the work already performed already done on that particular material and for that you need to take the help of some database and uh, one of uh, the well known database available for that material modeling uh, students learners scholars is a materials project so you should start studying or start analyzing that materials by using this uh, material project this is the uh, very uh, famous uh, database for the materials in which uh, this is uh, designed for the uh, data obtained from the study wasp studies and uh, uh, initially you have to uh, log in for this by using your email id so i, I have already logged in here so this this will be the front uh, front page of that one and here a good tutorial is available for this uh, YouTube tutorials of how to use this uh, uh, that uh, material project and also the documentation part is very strong as the as far as my knowledge is concerned a good documentation for uh, different uh, terms and uh, different parameters related to the study of materials that structure predictor crystal tool case reaction calculator nanoporous explorer all these are uh, given uh, uh, that interface in this particular uh, website so you should know about how to uh, use all these uh, terms uh, for your research work uh, you can study from this uh, documentation part and one uh, dashboard is also here so in this uh, dashboard this is uh, designed for you and uh, whenever uh, you perform some uh, uh, prediction prediction type work of crystal prediction then that data available for you uh, will be available on your dashboard so here so <coughs> This is a very wonderful database and uh, as well as that uh, containing properties and uh, you can search materials you can explore materials on the basis of just elements on the basis of uh, formula and if you know the ids of that materials or mp queries or structure you can also search that material by using this uh, database if you are trying to study the properties related to batteries then you can explore the batteries also by elements formula material and uh, batteries so let us start uh, that by elements let's have this ferrous if this is uh, just i am using one single uh, element uh, that uh, one atom and i will start searching so one of the good uh, thing required is a good internet connection so this is the different structures of ferrous iron uh, it is listed here and you can choose one of the study uh, one of the structure uh, from this uh, database and start studying so for particular properties of materials that particular structure is responsible so you have to start from that structure so let us uh, take this so when we click this you will get uh, uh, some properties of that structure its magnetic moment is this magnetic order in this formation energy is available and density of that material and this is uh, decomposed to fe fe is so and band gap metallic behavior so band gap is zero and this uh, uh, it's a pint group and the crystal system is uh, orthorhombic so all these are that terms related to that crystal physics so you should know about that one and uh, okay so my internet connection is not good why the structure is not showing <laughs> okay so this is that structure a structure and uh, uh, you can compare this structure with uh, the data available in other database and uh, you can get this structure because uh, for each and every uh, computational program you need to have the parameters related to its structure especially that coordinates of these atoms abc and uh, these latest parameters this is needed by uh, every uh, molecular modeling software packages and you can get this uh, from um, just copying from this side or you can just uh, uh, download uh, that CIA file of this structure by computer CIA files and conventional standard or in form of that uh, primitive cells. So you can have uh, that structure of desired that uh, materials. So first of all, uh, search that uh, material and uh, just uh, decide from uh, which materials uh, you have to study and uh, uh, you can download that CIA file uh, from this uh, materials project. So this is for related to a single atom and uh, let's say in the formula based structure by formula you can get uh, Fe2 
fe2 co3 so you can get that fe3 and the corresponding some other structures are also uh, suggested by this software that were part that lithium do doped the f fe2 o3 and uh, things so this is uh, that uh, lithium doped the fe2 o3 and uh, this is used uh, for the electrode materials so when we'll have uh, this is the structure with a very wonderful structure and some properties are listed here and uh, all these properties have been uh, computed by using wasp and uh, this uh, it is uh, decomposed to these two structures so uh, good information is uh, available and this is monoclinic uh, structure and uh, the point uh, group is uh, 2 by m and some uh, diffraction patterns and uh, uh, other properties uh, that uh, some uh, DFT based parameters used by WASP, it is uh, mentioned here. So, for the good references available to start uh, that molecular uh, modeling based uh, uh, study. So, first uh, search that uh, material, or uh, if you have uh, that uh, any paper is available, or you have downloaded some papers and uh, on, on those review articles and papers, because uh, if you want to study, then you need a good research article to collect, and also if uh, some recent uh, review article is available for that uh, particular properties or that particular material then this will be good so uh, which property you want to study select that and for that properties good materials you can select and uh, from those good list of good materials available in uh, review articles uh, you can search those materials from this uh, uh, materials project and now you you are free to modify that materials to, for the further study for example this this is that lithium fe2o3 you can just create some defects here you can add some atoms and uh, corresponding to that sodium or other you can do you can substitute and uh, you can replace some atoms and study uh, you can study that one and uh, you can compare that modification this will be the pristine uh, pristine uh, properties available from, uh, by using this wasp and uh, you can uh, study this by using sister and uh, uh, by creating defects or by adding some foreign atoms you can have uh, uh, the new study or the new parameters and you can compare it's a DAS, PDAS, and other things. So these are DAS, PDAS uh, type terms are uh, known terms for the material modeling students. And uh, if you are not knowing, then you can uh, go through the literature as well as my uh, YouTube channel in which this uh, video is uh, being uh, to, to be uploaded. So the first is you have to search a good material and then download that CIF file. So let us, uh, I should download this primitive shell of this. So. Okay, so this is uh, uh, downloaded in uh, my folder. So that DFT battery, I have downloaded this. This then I can open this. Now you need to explore the properties of this uh, CIF file by using some tools. So here, uh, I generally used two, um, two tools. One is uh, that uh, CIF to sale and second one is GDIS. So uh, CIF to sale, and CIF to sale. This is a very good tool to convert this CIF file uh, to which can this can be downloaded from this so just google it to cif to sell and you can download it from this and after downloading uh, you can uh, install by using a simple command a python command uh, so i have downloaded this in uh, this is that uh, ex, uh, extracted file so all these are the files and here also uh, some good database available in this uh, uh, this particular thing so uh, the, the periodic table from periodic tables the cif files are almost all the elements are available in its database so good database and uh, uh, that setup file is there so just uh, you can install it uh, setup uh, setup file by using uh, command and one doc file is uh, available uh, to help you so this is uh, that uh, pdf uh, doc file for so this is that uh, help file to help you how to install and how to start working and uh, good uh, tools to, to uh, change uh, that CIA file in the de desirable uh, input file. So let me use one command that uh, CIF to sale. 
and uh, if it downloaded is uh, uh, it is successfully downloaded then if you use this help file then this is that file and uh, you can uh, get help from this so this is good for this is made up of uh, so these are the program so this is the file name it is uh, from my say and for programs and this is uh, designed for uh, different program programs so that is this is for the sister also so i am using this for the sister is for the quantum x ratio pws cf and uh, other x bands and uh, other things okay so simple command is uh, used to convert uh, that say a file to fdf and uh, let me use that so so cif to sale with f and i will give now uh, the pdf file uh, that cif file so the name of cif file then i will uh, choose the uh, program for which i have to convert so this is the program sister and then the name of output file and that will be uh, test.fdf because uh, that uh, uh, sister actually accept accepts this fdf file and uh, if uh, I'm okay, then this is that uh, FDF file, uh, this converted FDF file, and one can guess uh, test.fdf. So you can get that uh, uh, some information just uh, comparable to a uh, system FDF file, and these are the coordinates, these are the species, and other things. And you can copy this uh, uh, for your FDF file, and you can start learning. You can start uh, that um, optimizing. Next one is. You, I can. You can also use uh, for that uh, ZDIS. Uh, this is uh, ZDIS is a good tool to convert this CIA file uh, or desirable input file. So ZDIS, you can install this ZDIS in Ubuntu by using that uh, uh, sudo command. And uh, I think uh, in that uh, our faculty developer program, one of the uh, lab work one of the lab work the details of the gdis the program how to install and uh, how it is uh, how one can use this gdis uh, for material research this is explained so i think uh, if you want to know the details of this you can uh, just uh, go through that uh, particular video uh, uploaded in the same channel so uh, this this gdis and uh, now this will this is that uh, structure in GDA file. Okay, and uh, you can get the image. So pages in different direction. So this is that structure. Okay, it can be opened from this, and then you can save this file in uh, different file formats. For example, these are that uh, uh, software packages. Uh, uh, which is supported by GDIS. So here that sister is so that model one dot FDF. So I will get that FDF file. So in my that particular folder. So that FDF file creation. This is uh, not uh, much difficult if that CIA file it is uh, uh, available. So, but uh, you can. So you can use that uh, searching up materials by this uh, material project are related some more database and you can convert this uh, CIA file into FDF file or other software packages by using that CIF to sell uh, the tools or that uh, GDIS tool. And also uh, this is a very uh, rich uh, database and you can get so many things. Uh, and you can also that uh, predict structure uh, by using that uh, structure predictor uh, of uh, this uh, particular tool so this is that structure predictor uh, so before starting that structure you can predict some structure but uh, uh, you have to choose some uh, elements from this periodic table and you can get uh, uh, that for example copper is there so this is that copper and uh, you can add uh, that silver to and this is ru third and then remember this you can uh, choose uh, four to five five elements but uh, uh, one of uh, the limitation of this predictor is that uh, you need to choose some, some positive and some negative uh, an element so for example this 
I would add, and this is that uh, SE. So these are that uh, these are negative valency, and uh, these are positive valency. Now uh, you can start uh, this predictor. So this is uh, now appointed, uh, and uh, that work will be in progress. And uh, after completion of this uh, prediction, uh, the data will be available in your uh, dashboard, and you can uh, check that. Uh, uh, file that is structure and uh, download that CIA file and you start working in this uh, uh, for any specific uh, tool. And uh, I am choosing since I am uh, using Sista, so I will uh, say that uh, you should also start Sista because this is a good tool. So, okay, I think uh, it's a uh, good for, for, for it's enough for all. So, um, just I am uh, revising what uh, what we have to do first. Uh, start studying the solid state physics and material science and then just select one properties and with the help of your mentor your guide and after selecting a property go for a good research articles and uh, that uh, review articles and select uh, and uh, select uh, some materials and the related materials and then search that materials in the good database just like materials project and uh, download one specific uh, structure of that database and even you can compare different structures uh, from that materials uh, and properties uh, related to different materials and then you can uh, put some foreign elements and you can create effects and uh, study uh, various properties by using any specific tools so the cia file you will have available that cia file and after getting that cia file you can use tools like the gdis to convert that file into fdf file or you can use that cia to sell uh, to convert that uh, for that desirable input file and by using the pseudo potential and other things you can optimize the system and uh, start uh, studying so details uh, how to um, uh, create that fdf file and other things are also available in uh, this channel so thank you all